What's up, my V lovely? What's up, my V lovely? I got sounds, smell delicious. Mm. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> anyways, let me do my thumbnail. I'm holding it up like this because I'm trying to do my thumbnail. Thumbnail. <laughs> so this is some jerk chicken, y'all. I went to Jamaica Mon. Yes, y'all. I went to Jamaican Mon. Now, listen, I'm just not getting back in town. So this time, this how I'm looking is traveling looks. Okay. Y'all, I just got back from Atlanta. So I get let me tell y'all what I got here. So these y'all see my two fishies. Right? The two fishies. These are the red snappers. <laughs> the red snappers, y'all. I got some hot sauce on deck. So I got this cabbage. That cabbage is so good. Good. Like a neighborhood. Okay, let me say my grace and we gonna get it in. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen are gone. Let me say my two shout outs. My two shout One first shout out goes to Dre and Alicia. Go check them out. They do videos on like different celebrities or different uh, gossip things that's going on now in the world today. And they give their, their opinions on what they feel about the situation. They do mukbangs and different things like that. They're a couple. Very, very nice looking couple. Very, very uh, relatable. So go over there and check them out. I'm going to leave link down in the description box below. As well as Yaki Snacky. Y'all may, a lot of y'all may know her. She's very, very sweet lady. Very, very, very sweet. She does, she has already done over 500 videos. She does a variety of videos, y'all. When I tell y'all, everything from the chitterlings down to the uh, seafood down to whatever you think you, you got, you want to eat, she eats it. So, Go check. I think she's more health conscious though. Uh, more of the healthy side. But she has a variety of foods. So go check her out. I'm going to leave that link down in the description box below. And that's what's up. Anyways, y'all, I'm in a great mood. I have been very, uh, you know, the thing about it is I was kind of down. Like, man, you know, when you're traveling, I'm like, man, man, all this traveling. And it's not really traveling because it's like an hour away from where we at. But at the same time, I'm sitting there in the car because we was waiting on this food forever. Can I say forever? Forever, ever. <laughs> okay. But um, we had a good time in the ATL. We got a um, chance to meet with some, um, go to dinner with a few of our um, um, our people. So that was fun. That was fun in the sun. And I was like, I, I, I'm so shocked to, to hear that a lot of people do not go out. It's not going out in this C19. They like, a lot of them was like, we ain't left the house since. I'm like, for real? I say, shoot, I've been do I've been going somewhere. I can't I can't do be by in the house all day, y'all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. This cabbage is ball. Mm. Y'all say great. I hope I did. Dear Jesus, thank you for this food I'm receiving. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I'm thinking like, look at this, y'all. Ooh, Charlie, Charlie, Wally. Charlie right here. Charlie right there. Ooh, that gave me a heartburn. Like, ooh, what the heck? What, what's going on? Oh, I'm like, what is that? You can use that one too, huh? I get him two to pick from. But I got my red sauce on deck too. So here we go. Y'all, this is a lot of bones in here, so you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. And I tell y'all, I just got home. I just got home. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Be careful. This is red snapper. Be careful with this though. Because y'all know how it go. That red snapper got bones in it, not worse than a buffalo bone. 
Buffalo. Oh, snap. Mm. I should have got some Tabasco. Whoo. Because my hot sauce is. They gave me some of this. What is this, though? They said this is for my wings or some type of sauce, he said. I don't even know name of the sauce, but it is what it is. Y'all had to wait so long for this food. Let me tell y'all. Is this wrong? Tell me if this is wrong or not. Now, okay. I got social media following or whatever. Do you think it's wrong to tell people who you are after the fact? That, you know, because I don't tell people. I usually don't tell people who I am or whatever. But it's almost like, I think it's probably bad. I don't know. Y'all tell me if it's bad or not. When you say who you are, then they, it's almost like instantly a light bulb come on and they treat you differently. It's like, whoa. But if you don't tell them who you are, it's like you get this treatment like, okay. I don't know what that is. And I try to, sometimes I, I, I promise y'all. I don't tell people who I am. There, I promise I'll go into a restaurant and I order all this stuff and I do a video. And then after they see the video and I come back the second time, like, well, they like they they be like, "Wow, we didn't know that was you. You didn't tell me that, that it was you and this and that." And I didn't think I need to tell them that. But when I am in like doing something or like say for instance this time the food was taking long or whatever the case may be, and I said who I am, then it's almost like they put another level of respect on it. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all trying to get, y'all get what I'm saying? Oh, I have a, a fly, y'all, a fly. Anyways, and I don't know, should I do, is it right to use that for your advantage? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all don't understand what I'm saying. I'm not trying to say that to be bougie. Should I use that? Oh no. Go keep it the same way. Anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think. Basically, I'm using your status to get what you want, but really, I'm not like that, y'all. I'm really, I'm not. But a lot of y'all, like, I, 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 I just want to know is that disrespectful? Mm, like, mm. ooh, this is good. It's, it's very flavorful, but you know what? Some people eat these bones, y'all. Y'all see these bones? Some people eat them. Chew them right on up, but they so flavorful. I know I'm all over the place right now, but with the buffalo, buffalo fish, um, you can swallow some some uh, bones for real. I have had that. You can really swallow the bone. And they say you gotta eat bread to get them out of your throat. That's not real. That's the real real. I'm trying to be careful. Gotta be careful. Anyway, I got some jerk chicken. I don't know, like baked. Y'all know the type of jerk chicken I'm used to. I'm using that jerk and that jerk. That grilled jerk. Mmm. This is good. That's a big piece of fat. And it's a lot of meat, you know? Meat, meat. Got that meat meat. Mm. Just be careful. Be careful. That's it. That's all. So anyway, so I'm back home and I'll be back out, y'all. So I'm going out to. Um, Chicago, and I'll be uh -uh, in Arizona. And then, yeah, back home. I'll be so happy when this thing is over with. 
I really do because that mask, whoo, the mask, Charlie, is not good for me. That mask is a lot. And I don't care what y'all say in them comments, come on, him. You should be happy this next. I don't like the mask, period. I don't care what y'all say. I wear it, but I don't like it. I wear it. I just can't wait on how to wear it. Because I think some days I'm good with it. And some days it makes me, I don't know. They say it's a psychological thing in my brain. It makes me feel like I'm not getting enough oxygen. Y'all ever feel that way? I don't know. Mm, this got to be careful. This is bottom. Anyway. So I don't know. But I'm excited, y'all. I went, I went to go uh, get my out in Atlanta to get my chain made. So my chain is getting made, and I got a uh, a, 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 um, a pendant. I made a pendant. I uh, designed it myself. Woo, 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 woo! So they finna start on that. I paid everything in full, so everything is gonna be done in two months. So I'm excited about that. And I got some other things that are going on that I'm going to be happy to show y'all. I also met with my um, designer, my um, interior designer. And she finally gave me the plans for my bedroom. We were excited about that. We had a meeting with her. I brought them home, the plans. I think she's gonna do a video on it, but I'll tell y'all when she do the video. Um, what's going in my house or whatever, the master bed plans and stuff like that. I just, um, you know, it takes a long time, y'all. Of course, you gotta have a lot of patience if you're trying to get some furniture made. You know, not furniture made, but design. You know, when you get a design, a tier designer, you gotta be patient, and then. It's hard to visualize the vision. You want to visualize it. It's like, in your mind, you just can't see it. I can't see it. I kind of do see it. But all I know, it's going to be nice when it's all said and done. Because you got to add all the colors to the situation and all the stuff. And when the pictures get added and stuff like that. Cause we even get then down to the pictures. Our pictures are getting drawn by hand by an artist. I want everything to be different. I didn't want nobody to say, "Yeah, I got that. I got that." Or you know, some of the stuff I know, but a lot of my stuff is getting made personally for my house. It ain't taking forever. But, in my um, interior designer defense, she did tell me it's going to take a long, a while. And having this C19 is making it take a dollar almost a, even longer. But I'm trusting the process. I'm trusting the process. I'm doing that, y'all. I'm doing... Um, I'm working on some other things too. Um, behind the scenes. I don't know if I should mention it or no. Maybe not. I'll mention it next time. I'm going to ask my husband for But he tells me I talk too much. I do. I know I do. Well, he don't say it like that. Like, you talk too much. <laughs> he don't come at me like that. But, I got to give the gab, y'all. Like, after I finish this, mm, this is a thin bone. Look at how thin that is. Uh-oh. Mm. 
Mmm. Now this will kill you. That will kill you. Uh, anyway, um, uh, what else I was gonna say? Oh yeah, so I'm trying to get through this uh I'm ready to go outside and go read. Go read, y'all. Mm. Read my Bible, Bible, Bible. That seems to calm me down. And they finished with my backyard, too, y'all. Came home, they done with that. And then, oh, we're supposed to have a meeting with my dead guy so they can start buying um, the stuff for it. The, uh,. All of the uh, things that you need for what's that? The uh, equipment and all that stuff. So I ain't gonna be for before y'all before long. I ain't gonna be in front of y'all before long. I mean, I always jack that part up. You know how the ministers be saying, I ain't gonna be here before y'all before long. Oh, well. Yeah. Man, you're covered when you swallow. I ain't even joking, y'all. I'm like, mmm. I can tell you this. This stuff is super flavorful. It's got a lot of flavor in that crunch. On the edge. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. I'm going to get my nails done. Nails done. Yeah, yeah. Nails done. So this time, I'm going to get me some uh, um, yellow and pink, y'all. Yellow. Oh, excuse me. And a hot pink. And got kind of really cute. I think that worked. Mm. I'm not gonna eat all that. Maybe, uh, you know what? Maybe I'll finish that, but I ain't gonna finish that. That one's gonna get eight, cause I'm gonna eat that later. Don't y'all go there. Oh, I'm gonna eat. I'm so crazy. I didn't even taste that greens, and that greens probably have a uh, smoked turkey in it. And I don't see not not a nan smoked turkey, not a nan smoked meat. Where the turkey at? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Mm mm. I don't smoke turkey. Mm mm. Mm mm. Yes it is. Mm. This is very favorable. Cabbage and carrots. That's it. Mm. No. Y'all, they gave me some of this juice. This thing got some beads in it. Crepes in it. Crepes. Onions. Jalapenos. What is this? Ooh. Mmm. Whoa. That's kind of good. It's like vinegary. Mmm. Ooh, I should open that up soon. Ooh, that's vinegary. Did I waste it? Mmm. It's like that vinegar taste that you like when you eating your grains. I like vinegar. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. That's really good. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I gotta put this green. See, let me tell y'all something. I like my green. Some people like their greens. 
like really cooked. I don't like mine cooked like that. Well, I like mine cooked, cooked. You know what? Kind of withered, cooked like that. Some people like there's more chewy and more crunchier like on the side, like almost like steamed greens. I'm not the steamed green girl, you know? I like it kind of, you know, a little bit more tender. And some people don't like it like that, you know? And you know it has to be packed with flavor. Don't you know, don't you know about that flavor? Mm. Mm. But that vinegar, I don't know what they call that, but that stuff good. It's hitting it. It's hitting. Yes, it's hitting. Mm. And this is flavorful. I, this part that probably got all the bones in it. It's the most flavorful. This is the one you want to chew on. Because that's where all the flavors at. But you don't want to choke and die. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to choke yourself. But you got to suck. And be careful. Suck and be careful. Suck and be careful. 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 Mmm. 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 So that. Mm, mm. The fish is good though. Red snapper is good. If y'all never tasted it, you know what? That my first time tasting wet snapper was on this channel. Cause I was so scared to order a red snapper with the eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? Cause they, they whole. And I used to always see people eat that. I'm like, how can they eat that with the eyeballs looking at them? The mouth. It looked like a fish fish, but shoot, that joke was good. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. It's slamming women. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. And I'm not eating. You better be. I be saying some people eat the eyeballs. And you see right there, they will suck all on this. Oh, they, they go feast. They go ham. They say that's the best part for them. Like sucking the head. No way. Jose. We ain't doing that right there. A lot of y'all know. I'm very picky. I eat the same foods, y'all. And be happy and content with it. Because that's what I know. When it's coming down the side trying something new, this is what I do. I have my husband try it first. That's <sighs> true story. Then I do it. Cause y'all ain't getting me out there. I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna eat <laughs> what I like. Cause if I don't eat what I like, then, mmm, mmm, mmm. If I don't eat what I like, it's not gonna be good. You gonna know that I do not like that food. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Y'all, I'm trying to go to. I we just order tickets for Funny Bone. I don't know if y'all funny bones over. Y'all don't know funny bone here? It's a place where you go see comedians do comedian acts that's on the road and they travel in your your area. And they do um stand up comedy. Live Stand up comedy. So I'm guessing our funny bone is open because they had uh, people that's on the roster to come. So I was like, okay, don't get offended, y'all, but it was this guy on there. I don't know his name. Don't know what kind of jokes he tell. And he was a Caucasian guy. At this point, I was like, I don't care what you are. 
if you, I just want to buy a ticket, you know what I'm saying? Just to be somewhere and be able to enjoy myself. Call me crazy, but that's just how it is. I like to have fun. I like to do things and, you know, fun things. So, I just wanted to go see him. So, and my husband like, he may not even be funny. I said, oh, well, you know, we going to see. We going to see. It's a night out, you know. It's a night out. And at this point, I, I know when this world opened back up, whoo, I don't think no soul going to be home. Well, you know, open back up for a while because some of us going to be skeptical. Just like some of us going to be skeptical about, about getting the, uh, that, that vaccination. So we know that's going to happen, but we're going to be sitting back watching like, now wait. See if this person, what their reaction is. If it's going to be some side effects and all that other crap, you know? Especially us black folk. We're going to be like, uh-uh, you ain't even eject me with that. Until I see how it does on such and so-and-so. And that's what it is. That's what it be like, y'all. You just don't know. Because these, um... Already, these medications they be having now be saying side effects and you may have heart uh, you know, heart uh, burn or you may have a heart attack. It may cause this and may cause that. And you be like, danger. I don't care. No medicine. Any medicine you, medicine. Uh -oh. Any medicine you take, y'all, it seems to have all these side effects. And you want it to yourself. The side effects are worse than what the pill is supposed to heal. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. That's why I said. Now they claim to say the shot is going to be given, or the vaccination will probably be here around the beginning of winter, and then. You hear some of them say they did it on a monkey and it worked. At this point, you hear all types of stuff. I don't know who to believe. This is why you have to stay prayed up. Okay? Promise you. Ain't nothing going to work like prayer. You understand what I'm saying? Prayed up, ready to just like, Lord, protect me from this thing, this thing. Have your, uh, if you are a household, you know, and you have your husband in the house, a two parent household, husband and wife, you have your husband, which is the covering over your household, cover the whole family. You know, you all go into prayer, be able to cover y'all with all this stuff, and he's going to protect you. Like, I'm still going out. We still going traveling here and there. You just got to be careful and, and stay prayed up, like I said. And I just thank and appreciate all you guys for, for your traveling grace and mercies that y'all prayed for me, for, you know, praying for me that we get back safe and sound with no hurt, harm, or danger. And we have made it back safely, uh, safely here. So, it's been good, y'all. It's been good. And we have been uh, in, uh, you know, good health. I don't even want to waste that on these greens. This is good, y'all. This is that good. I'm going to have to let y'all go because it is about that time. I'm not even supposed to keep y'all this long. I keep on saying I'm going to go shorter. I'm going to go shorter. As long as I get a video out for y'all because I'll be trying to get my videos out for my, my, uh, my ones that say, you got to watch me every single day. If that is your routine, I'm not going to let y'all down. I'm going to come on with a video. Okay, y'all? It is what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is, y'all. It's good. I got some sponsorships to get through. Now that I think of it. 
Oh yeah, I sure do. I gotta think about that. I gotta start writing that stuff down because I got I got a deadline. What's up, my v -Love? I got sounds. Smagalicious. Mm -hmm. I got sounds. Smagalicious. Mm -hmm. I got sounds. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.